Hi YouTube, Bobby from Buff here with another tutorial. I showed this in another video with a blaster, a replica blaster prop and uh, I wanted to show that this technique is versatile and you can use it on other props as well. Um, as you can see I am making a Foot Clan foot soldier costume. Uh, I'm part of a group, we do costumed appearances for charity and in the group we have uh, four Ninja Turtles. And uh, so I wanted to be able to go into appearances with the Ninja Turtles and, you know, get to be a bad guy, bring like just an extra costume to that group. So uh, I'm looking forward to hanging out with those guys. Uh, they're Buffalo's Best Ninja Turtles on Facebook. Uh, Bus Buffalo's Best TMNT, if you want to look them up on Facebook. So I've already done the mask you see there, and I'm working on the uh, gauntlets, which are just craft foam. They're anti-fatigue uh, foam mats with a uh, hook and loop velcro to hold those onto my arms and I've just gone through and uh, painted the and painted this with Plasti Dip and with um, one a couple coats of, uh, of the metallic um, can't I can't remember the brand it's rust-oleum brand paint it's the metallic kind for plastic and I've used that on there to give it kind of a shine and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to add some, uh, some grit to that with the Liquitex Basics and a little bit of this craft paint, uh, what's called Apple Barrel Color. I'm going to put those in a little cup from, uh, it's a detergent cup that I got when we bought new laundry detergent. I saved those so I can use them for painting. Um, when you do this kind of a project, when you work with acrylic paint, I like to wear gloves because if it gets under your fingernails, it's hard to get rid of later on. So we'll put the gloves on here. And a little bit of black. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of blue to this as well. Let me just uh, mix that up. Turns out mostly black uh, the blue gives it like a little gray to it a little bit more of a metallic um, I think look to it so cool so there's that that's how the color it turned out alrighty so uh, as I did before I'm gonna do the same technique I'm gonna pick small sections paint the, the paint right the acrylic paint right onto the top of this piece and then I'm gonna wipe it off using a rag so here we go. Uh, with with the craft foam, Plasti Dip, and um, this particular combination, I found in the past that uh, you have to wipe it off faster than you do when you use it on another prop, like a, like the blaster in the other video that I posted. Um, you can leave it sit on there a little bit longer with the with something that's plastic. With this type of an item it needs to come off almost right away. So I'm going to do really small area just around here. Make sure it's really wet. I don't want it to dry at all. So Okay. And try to get that off as quickly as we can here. So there's that. That's how that turned out. And I'm just going to go about doing this throughout the entire uh, prop. So we're going to go all the way down. Really want to get in the crevices. Uh, that's where the paint is going to linger behind. And that is where you're going to get the most bang for your buck with this. The flat spots, um, you're not, you know, it's not going to make as much of a difference. Again, you see how fast this is drying on here. I have to get it off of here right away to uh, give it a chance. Cool. I like to show 
a before and after. You can kind of see. I know it's a subtle difference, and especially on camera, it's not as obvious. But I think that this makes a huge difference in making the prop look like it's actually metal as opposed to just like a piece of foam spray painted. Um, you can decide, you can try it yourself and decide for yourself, but to me it makes a huge difference and I think that uh, it's something that is worth a little bit of effort to me uh, to do. I'm really getting it inside the, the areas I've dremeled out. I use a dremel tool to just dremel out these areas to make the uh, shape of uh, of the gauntlet, gauntlet, whatever you want to call it, van brace gauntlet, I don't know what word you want to use. I'm sure cosplayers have a very specific uh, phrase for this that I'm not using correctly. Cool. I don't know, I just decided to add this little Foot Clan uh, logo on the handguard. I thought it was kind of, I don't know, something different. I know that's not it's not canon. It's not what's in the. Uh, I'm basing this mostly on the cartoon from the uh, late '80s, early '90s, and um, I know that's not canon to the to the cartoon. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool, and I, I was just messing around with it. That's what's cool about custom props. You can do whatever you want. It's yours forever. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, so that looks pretty good. And the one thing I might try to do here, see how this works. Um, I might try to do like a little bit of a dry brushing technique around the edges here. Where, so you take the brush, I got most of the paint off of this brush. It's just barely damp now. And I'm gonna take the edge of the brush and the, the paintbrush and just drag it across the edge of the prop. It sort of gives it like a small scratches almost. If you can see that. I like the the depth it brings to an item. Uh, it sort of makes it look like it's it's naturally weathered from use. If you can see there how I did that. All the way around the edges. All right, well, so that's my tutorial on how I do some weathering on my replica props. Um, I hope that that is useful, and I hope that you can come up with an awesome idea and build a sweet costume, too. Thanks for watching. Check you later.